when business is slow, it pays to be green. The new green economy is sprouting some of the most innovative and successful small businesses around. In tonight's Power Rankings, we look at the next big green businesses with Inc. Magazine's Rod Kurtz. And Rod, if anybody knows, you do. It is this easy is your being job. green. That's what I'm here to <laughs> All tell All right, you. number five, Borrego Solar Systems. Tell now, us Now, this uh, should be a familiar name, familiar company. Uh, the CEO, Aaron Hall, was actually number one on our 30 Under 30 list, a veteran of Power Rankings. Under 30. Now, this, uh, this company... Company, as you see, uh, they're in the solar panel business and uh, revenue about 30 million in 2007, growing by leaps and bounds. They are uh, based in sunny California. No, uh, no, no surprise Course. there. Yeah, no surprise. And uh, you know, one of the things that they've been able to take advantage of is states that are uh, offering and municipalities offering tax credits, incentives for for companies and consumers to uh, stick some solar panels on their roofs. So we're seeing companies like this uh, again growing by and leaps. With and the bounds. Obama administration, undoubtedly, we're going to get the number four Tesla motor. Now, another familiar face. The CEO's name is Elon Musk, and he, of course, was the co-founder of PayPal. This company makes electric cars. He was actually our entrepreneur of the and these year. These are really high value. These, these cost over 100000 right? Yeah, about 100000 for the Roadster you see there. But here's the, the interesting thing and the thing to watch. In 2010, I believe, uh, they're set to release a sedan for about, uh, I think, 60000 which brings it much more affordable. And we're talking about hugely efficient cars here. So I believe Arnold Schwarzenegger has one of these. He's a big fan. A Tesla. He has. has. has yeah, a one, of the, one, of the, uh, the, one of the sports coupes. Yeah. So definitely a company to watch. All right, number three. Seventh generation. What does that do? Now you've probably seen this in uh, Target and Whole Foods. Uh, they make consumer products, paper towels, uh, toilet paper, cleaning products. But they're eco-friendly. Uh, cool thing about the company. First of all, my favorite thing: the CEO Jeff Hollander actually goes by the title of Chief Inspired Protagonist. And this is a company. What does that mean? The name Seventh Generation stems from the fact it's actually an uh, American Indian uh, term, essentially, that every generation should look out for the impact that it has on the next seven generations. Right. So recycled products, things like and that. And number two, come to the camera here. Camera one. This is, this is, no, no, no. Come back to the camera. Camera one, zip car. And look at this. Asman has his, has his own card. How's that for I've been a member for years. I love this place. It Tell is, us about it. It is a great company, another one we've been tracking for a while. It's essentially a timeshare for cars. You can rent by the hour as low as $6 an hour. And this is great for people like you and me who live here in New York City. We don't want to own a car. We just want access right. to a car every so often. So they have 250,000 members, including Mr. David Asman, about 5,500 vehicles on the road. They're in 28 states now, cities again, uh, college campuses. They're in London now. And the company did $59 million in revenue in 2007. And the great thing, the reason it's a green company, it keeps more people from buying cars that they don't need, cars that pollute. Exactly. All right, number one, Abtech Industries. What well, do they do? Uh, we just had a special report in our November issue about water entrepreneurs. And the CEO uh, is a man by the name of Glenn Rink, who you'll hear more from in a minute, but they have a product called the Smart Sponge, and it really is a magic sponge used to uh, clean up contaminated water. It can actually extract the contaminants out of water. It's very cool to see. So you have an oil spill, you throw these sponges in, and boom, you That's got right. So uh, it definitely another... And we're seeing more and more of these companies in the water industry. As we phrase it in the issue, blue is the new green. And so uh, companies to watch here, and uh, let's hear more about Abtech. Rod, thank you so much. Joining us now, the man behind the Smart Sponge, we welcome Glenn Rink. He is the president and CEO of Abtech Industries. He and his company were featured, as we just heard, in the Blue is the New Green November issue of Inc. Magazine. And there is the cover. Good to see you, Glenn. Good Thanks for coming in. And here actually is the product. Before we go to the actual product itself, tell me how you came up with the idea. It was actually originally developed to help with uh, ocean-based oil spills. Having gone to my first oil spill in 1994 and seen the archaic manners and methods they used. Why were you there? Why were you at an oil spill? Uh, because I, I had been working for uh, an agricultural company in a different area and the technology we were working with, had, we thought, had the ability to work with oil, work with oil-related hydrocarbons and things like that. And there was an oil spill. We wanted to see how the products we were developing would work, and they did not work at that oil spill. So you came up with this That's stuff. Correct. And, That's and if correct. you, can, I don't know if you can get a close-up on this or not, but here is here is the sponge <clears throat> material. It kind of looks like uh, some kind of packing material. It does. It, it, we call it popcorn. It's uh, because it can be. It's made in popcorn size, but it can be molded in pretty much any shape or size. It's it's extruded, and it's actually extruded with no pressure and no heat, uh, so that it is very. It's very porous, so water passes through this. So when you water passes through, but other stuff gets stuck in it. 
That's correct. And this is this is an example. Well, we're looking right now at some of the particle uh, particular matter, but here's something a little more vivid for you. You can see what it, this is. This is kind of your typical uh, oil spill material. That is correct. That is correct. And once it absorbs, the thing that makes it smart is chemically selective. But uh, unlike uh, traditional sponge, it won't come back off, so you can't get that oil oh, back wow. off. It's permanently bonded. You cannot get it out. And the great thing is, it can go to a waste energy facility and be burned as fuel. It has a, B, a very high BTU. So value. you actually use it to sponge up the oil and then you throw it in the furnace and use the oil. That's correct. It doesn't, it doesn't give off bad emissions None, if you no, burn it? Absolutely. As pure as regular fuel would be. Now, tell us how, by the way, what are these other things that you have here? This is a very uh, quick demonstration on how the technology works. And uh, if I can actually beg okay. your indulgence for a moment, right. if you would help me, all I'm going to do is take some what I would consider very clean New York City water and some used motor oil and diesel fuel, which unfortunately is quite common coming off the streets. Right. Um, right. If it was... Here it is settling at the top, of course. Yeah. And I'm going to just shake it up for a moment, mix it in there. Careful when you shake it. Oh, okay. Actually, it may me, not be close. Get it on that. Dave's suit. Yeah, I know. This is an expensive suit here. Here we go. All right. There we go. So and it's all kind of mixed up together there and sort of granulated. Can you do a close-up on this again? I don't know if they can get that there. It's, it's a little closer. You can see. I'll shake it up again. Okay, now what? Now all we're going to do is pass it through the top of this. and uh, I pour it in? Yeah, sure. Okay. Just gonna here we go. Give it a moment. You're like through. Mr. Wizard over there. You can, whoops, oh. whoops. A little came out on the top. Wow. You and can see the, you see the Hold it up a little bit. And you can see the water that's coming through at the bottom is almost complete. A little higher now almost completely clean. Now, how, how clean would that be if you were to sort of measure the cleanliness of it? Well, this, in this type of demonstration, it's what we call surface water dischargeable. The idea is, is to be able to remove contaminants and be able to discharge that water. If this was coming, what was in here, if it was in an industrial facility, it would have been taken away as a hazardous waste, and it would have cost them three or $400 a barrel to have removed. What we've been able to do is take the contamination. They can now allow this to be poured down the drain. Uh -huh. uh, that's still going to be dripping a little bit there. That's all right. That's all right, but it's clean water that's dripping, that's right? True, that's so I true. don't have to worry about that's it, even true. if it does go on my suit. Unbelievable. Okay, now how is your business doing in this down market? Well, for us, we're disruptive to the current methods. So uh, our current methods are, are traditionally very expensive to deal with environmental issues. If you have to deal with contaminated water, we talked about oil spills, but where the market is where we've, we've spent all of our time is in non-point source pollution. Uh, when the water r runs down the road, it runs in the ocean, the rivers, the streams, and it carries contamination in there and current methods uh, are to redirect it to wastewater treatment plants or put mechanical systems mm -hmm. in so we developed this technology which can be molded in any shape or size and can be applied to this so for us we're about a tenth of the cost of the other technologies and so it allows cities industries uh, permit so holders. So bottom line is you're not doing badly in no, this no, environment. By good. the way, Abtec stands for absorption technology. technology. Is it a public company? No, it's a private company. So it's a terrible environment right now to go public. You're probably kind of glad that it is a private company right now, but in the future, would you think of going public? Absolutely. The intent would be to go to the public market uh, space if we don't get acquired before then. We've had a lot of people come to us. Let's hope right. there is a public market in the future. <laughs> Lord knows it could go down to zero if things yeah. keep up as this. But you're doing great, and yeah. congratulations on your Work. Thanks for coming it. in. Thank you very Appreciate much. It. Thank you. Glenn Rink, Abtech Industries. You're going to hear a lot more about them.